to another episode of WWTA News. What we talk about news. And so here we talk about finance, economy. We talk about crypto. Mainly we're talking about crypto because it's the main story. It's it's pretty much everything we want to be talking about. So, hey man, welcome everybody back. Thank you for all coming in. Check out another episode. I've got some stories. Uh, so I want to just jump into those stories and obviously let's not waste any time. We've got uh, uh, some information that I want to share about Circle. Um, most of you are aware that Circle is the authenticators or creators of USDC, uh, the stablecoin. So I saw this and I thought, you know, maybe this will help us understand a little bit more why all these countries are involved in still using that. Because, uh, you know, I would expect that everybody would try and get out of the US dollar, but not really. That's confusing to me. So maybe this is why they we still see other countries and nations involved in it. So, um, yeah, let me read this to you guys. It says Express, uh, the fastest way to get USDC. It says available right from your Circle account. Express converts cash you send from your bank account into USDC and then automatically sends it to the wallet of your choice. So you can make trades, buy crypto and transfer funds on your own terms. Says you can do business anytime and near real time. Seamlessly transfer U.S. dollars from a bank account, settle them as a USDC in a circle account, and put it to work on many of the world's leading blockchains. You can also, let me get that one more time. I want y'all to absorb this because. This is some of the main reasons I think that the USDC is going to be major and important. Not that we're going to make any money off it, but the United States does, obviously, because it's it's their money. So this is why I think USDC is important and why we're going to pay attention to it, because it's running on certain blockchains simply and effortless effortlessly. But let me read that one more time. It says seamlessly transfer United States dollars from a bank account, settle them as a USDC in a circle account and put it to work on many of the world's leading blockchains. You can also automatically sweep USDC uh, that arrives in the deposit address connected to your circle account back into your corporate bank account, your corporate bank account. So now we're getting an idea uh, of who would be using these things, right? USDC can seamlessly flow from the crypto exchange of your choice into US dollars in a bank account, right? So we think about the businesses, the corporations, the institutions that would be involved in these particular things. And this is why uh, USDC exists. And of course, we're paying attention to it because of the other other reasons of the rails that it has to run on. It says connected with banks you use. Circle has partnered with top tier banks to help clients move in and out of crypto positions. Every Circle customer who banks with Silvergate's SCN and soon Signature Bank Signet can mint and redeem USDC transactions in real time, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. And again, big business moves dollars often. It's, it's, they want to do it all the time, but you can't. The blockchain changes everything. We look at SWIFT, the new messaging system that they're going to be using. Uh, they want all banks running this. If you're going to use them, you're going to need to be running on their new uh, messaging system, the ISO 20022. And uh, we are aware of, uh, you know, a few of the uh, blockchains that are uh, effectively a part of that messaging system or that are ready to run on that messaging system so we look at the uh, the banks the the businesses corporations the institutions and so here we can see that they're more than likely going to be moving so that they can settle in usdc because a lot of countries you know outside of the u obviously outside the u.s are still dealing in usd or usdc now right so to follow up with that, I just want to share this little clipping of the following cryptocurrencies that are ISO 20022 compliant as of the time this article was written. I've tried to find an updated version to see if there's anything added to that list. Um, I haven't found anything yet. 
maybe you guys out there watching this video, you might have seen something I haven't seen. Um, you can share it in the comments, uh, you know, that way everybody else can see it too. But as of right now, this is pretty much the only thing that I have that shows the uh, compliant um, blockchains that work with, with the ISO 20022. And so top of that list, of course, Stellar XLM, Hedera's HBAR, IOTA's Miota, XDC Network, um, Ripple's XRP, Algorand, and Quant. So those chains right there are ones that are compliant now i know there's offshoots that run on that chain um when you deal with xlm you've got stuff like yrx and and i don't know about hbar i don't know about myota um not sure about xdc xrp has a lot of different um applications that are stemming off of that and running off of that you know they have that dare i say it xr paynet i'm not too sure about that um it's still suspect to me um but you know it's whatever do your research pay attention to the things that you choose to pay attention to and those that don't seem to have any worth just ignore it but anyways these are the uh cryptocurrency chains that are compliant to the iso 20022 so just want to share that as well uh and so um i'll say this as well usdc rides on um xlm uh, i know it rides on xlm um I believe it rides on XRP. I'm not sure if it rides on Algo. Um, I know it rides on Solana. Um, and, and there's some other ones. I'd have to do more research, but those are the ones I'm, I'm sure of. And so not that USDC is anything important. It's just a stable coin. But the importance, uh, relevancy, is the fact that it's it runs on block on blockchains and different blockchains can move it. And so when I think about watching uh, Swift, I think about the ISO compliance and then I think about how they'll be moving uh, money through there and USDC will probably be moved through there and they'll probably want to use the most efficient um, and the cheapest and they might want on demand liquidity. So we know what that points to. So I, you know, it just makes sense. And, and I'm just going to follow it and keep my eyes on it and i'm hoping you all do the same thing wow we don't want this video to be long because i've got so much more information so let's move along so um this article is from december 6th um it says al fardon exchange llc collaborates with global leader jp morgan in a regional first the agreement will see afx customers enjoy same day value and faster payments globally Dubai's UAE Al Fardan Exchange LLC, the leading money transfer and currency exchange firm, which is licensed and regulated by the Central Bank of the United Arab Emirates, uh, is continuing its string of accomplishments with its latest venture, a relationship with the world renowned world renowned bank JP Morgan. This service will offer its United Arab Emirates corporate customers same day value globally wherein any amount transferred globally will be received in record time um, Wow hmm. Al Fardan exchange one of the uh, United Arab Emirates leading financial service providers has announced a partnership with Ripple the leading provider of enterprise blockchain and crypto technology solutions for a cross-border payments. Uh, this partnership will see Al Fardan join Ripple's cloud-based global financial network, RippleNet Cloud, and allow AI, um, excuse me, Al Fardan's customers to remit money internationally in real time at any time of day all year round. Uh, RippleNet Cloud allows financial institutions to move away from aging and expensive legacy uh, on prim infrastructure and embrace the flexibility, speed, and resilience of cloud computing without the burden of hardware man. Blah, 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 blah. So, uh, you know, right, we talk about um, Ripple's XRP. It just carries money, obviously. Um, and it says on-demand liquidity. And uh, so, you know, it's important when we see stuff like this. Uh, I'm not trying to point anybody in any direction to go to i'm just literally sharing these uh the, these articles uh, so we can paint a picture and, and have a better idea of what's going around going going on around us so yeah you know it, it clearly it looks like 
no matter what's happening and, and i'll say this uh, don't get long winded because you know what you do bro yeah i know i do that sometimes but we look at what's going on in the united states and and because we're in the united states we think that that's the everything begins and ends with the united states and that is clearly not true um gary gensler even said it himself uh, we can only work on legislation and controlling things here when it comes to uh, crypto in the united states we can't deal with other countries and what they choose to do we can't create regulation and all that stuff for them that's their business is what they do but we can determine how you'll conduct business with us so um you know what everybody else does in their country with ripples xrp or any other crypto uh, or any other blockchain it's really what they do it has no bearing to the u.s i think um uh what's my guy from el salvador right uh, Nayib Bukele I think he made his point clear when he said yo this ain't this ain't y'all house this ain't your backyard don't be minding my business y'all stay where y'all at mind y'all business don't don't bring that around here bro you know and I think Russia made their point clear as well uh, when the United States tried to sanction them they were like look bro we, we ain't paying y'all no mind so and this is why BRICS exist um, so yeah if you're worried about SEC and Ripple it's kind of like why that that's irrelevant other countries are doing what they do so all right next one 143 million xrp moved as ripple's partner bitso launches new remittance corridor a staggering 143 million xrp was transferred between two wallets uh, that well alert tagged as unknown earlier than that the aforementioned crypto tracker reported three smaller transactions they moved a total of 104.7 million um 37 million xrp 27 million xrp and 40 million xrp right so obviously there's a lot of xrp on the move i'm you know think what you want to think do what you want to do but like i said when we talk about uh the sec and, and and ripple it's like it, it it only matters here and it's not even important here because it's 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 whatever it's whatever but outside in other nations and countries they don't care about no sec and ripple in the united states they're not thinking about that they doing business every day so it's it's important that we realize that uh, the world does not revolve around the United States, obviously. So when you're looking at uh, what's going on in, in, in the crypto market, crypto space, stock market and everything else like that, don't limit your information and, and knowledge to just the United States, because that that that'll just mess everything up. All right. All right. We've got another one. It says I by governments, digital assets will reduce costs boost liquidity and bring new investors into global trade this article is, is as of november 17 2022 one way to think of trade finance is as a cash bridge i.e an upfront payment or a backed guarantee reducing the uncertainty and mistrust that can hold up international trade in exchange the provider of the financing receives fees of interest payments Blockchain technology offers the opportunity to cut through all the paperwork, manual processes, and fragmentation in one technological leap. With a blockchain like XDC Network, all the assets and most of the processes can be done digitally, allowing for a more legible market, better tracking of assets, and ultimately more transparency and liquidity to energize the space yeah so um i don't look at xdc that often but looking here at at what what the big picture is is institutions corporations banks all of them right this is the system that they choose to move in we already know they advertise directly to us i don't know if you all pay attention to that but the advertisement they track us on the phone right and everybody's like oh my god they're going to track me with crypto yeah, yeah yeah they track you on your phone you're 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 if you got what is it iphone is siri siri is annoying she listens to everything you say you know you got to say hey siri well no you don't you don't have to see she's listening now you don't have to to, to say that all the time you can just be talking and then she, something else I can help with. you see that no okay. you, you, 
bye bye right so this is the technology that we already have and if you're wondering about tracking that happens now so don't be scared of that obviously you know but because of that the technology improves and grows and gets better so now we're looking at the financial side of this right so the friction is being terminated like they're, they're getting rid of that they don't want to deal with freaking waiting 24 to 48 hours to get payments taken care of they're not trying to be tied up in in paperwork from one bank to the next and especially when we start looking at what's coming down the line they're going to move um assets commodities and securities into this space because that's going to just change everything everybody wants that money here and now just like when you order goods you want it here and now you you know most of us have gotten to the point now where we just want to get online pull up pull your phone out sit back in a chair and start ordering and shopping and doing all this other stuff and then you wait for the stuff to show up that's making your life easy whether whether you want to admit it or not you're probably guilty of it so what we look at here is that's where technology is going and xdc being also an iso uh, uh iso ready uh network or blockchain is like obviously they see the same thing too and they're looking at the big picture so if everybody's looking at the big picture but us we might miss out on everything so keep your eyes on what technology does you already know the technology that you're accustomed to using and so now we look at it from the financial side and the money side what is going to be in the best interest for businesses corporations and institutions uh to use and that'll help you hone in on these cryptocurrencies especially that you know what i'm saying moving along though um we've got a tweet from a hadri darar it says ripple's partner in latin america's largest cryptocurrency exchange bitso has partnered with the leading remittance provider felix pago to offer cross-border settlements from the united states to mexico users can send whatsapp based cryptocurrency payments from the u.s to mexico so what are we what are we saying here or what are we reading what are, what are we getting are, are we getting that um uh money is moving from what's through the whatsapp app uh through users via ripples blockchain xrp uh, well their 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 blockchain and and with their token is that was that what we're hearing uh, are they moving money that way uh, so if if it is, you know, um, if they're partnered with them and they're using again. Right. So does this help? Does this help you all to understand? OK, WhatsApp, right? You're you're sending money over Ripple's rails from the U.S. to Mexico. And we're concerned about the SEC's ongoing case with Ripple. It doesn't make sense. Like these are the things that boggles my mind. Like why would we even be concerned about that? But yeah, looks to me like that's what we're reading. Next article, it says the UN taps stellar blockchain to send war impacted Ukrainians United States dollar coin stable coins. Now, I mean, really, <laughs> right? It's not that USDC is anything that will make money off you know if you understand what this is then technically you can make money so let me back paddle a little bit and uh let me say this so if you're moving it right here stellar lumens uh iso compliant two zero iso two zero zero two two right compliant so the united nations right the u.n uh, so they're helping, right, by sending USDC, right, the stable coin over Stellar Lumens network or blockchain. It's it's right there. I mean, whether you want to believe that crypto is alive. I mean, I hear it all the time. Let me tell you something. Y'all probably hear this, too. I hear people all the time. They say, well, the market's horrible. You're not. The crypto's terrible. You, you know, it's a failure. You're going to be broke. You're going to lose all your money. I mean, the people just bad mouth it. But here I have to keep reading these articles and sharing this stuff on this channel. And it's like I can't seem to see that. 
You couldn't tell me that crypto is bad. You couldn't tell me that this isn't the technology for tomorrow. I would just, and this is what I do, honestly. I just let people talk. I don't even pay them no mind. It's kind of like in one ear and out the next. Because if people don't get it, they just don't get it. When I see something like this, the UN taps stellar blockchain to send war impacted Ukrainians, United States dollar coins, stable coins. They're sending it over that blockchain, that network, XLM. Now, that means to me, and I'm just sharing what it means to me, that means they have to what? If you want to send a hundred thousand um, dollars worth of if stable coin USDC to another country from one country to the next, and you want to send it over Stellar Lumens um, blockchain, you're going to have to turn that into XLM. Now, when you turn that into XLM, that's where its use case is. Now, when every other country and nation and business and institution and all these other people start seeing how easy and smooth these transactions are and how cheap they are and how they can do them 24 7, 365, and they start doing it, then this is what's going to increase the value, the actual use. Because the more people that have to use it, then the more expensive the actual coin has to become so that it can be used to move, right? You can't use it at eight pennies because there's a demand for it. So now you might have to use it at don't hold me. I'm making stuff up as we go as far as numbers, right? The, the concept of the use case is real, but I'm just making up numbers, right? Don't take any of this. You know, I'm making up numbers as of right now, though, it is eight cents uh, per stellar lumens coin token, whatever you want to call it. So if there's a high demand and use, right, then it can't be eight pennies for you to use it. You'll probably have to use it at ten dollars, fifty dollars, a hundred dollars, which means that if you want to send some stellar lumen and it's now at a fifty dollar per XLM and you only want to send twenty dollars, then, of course, you're getting a fraction of the stellar lumens. You know what I'm saying? And we know how that works. Anybody that uses crypto, you know, you'll have a point zero zero da 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 da. You know what I'm saying? And you'll move it so that in, and it makes it easier for the money to travel and move how it has to move. So to me, I don't care what nobody says. Reading articles like this helps me seal the deal that I'm prepared for tomorrow. Right. I don't know, man. You, you guys take it how you want to take it. I'm sure most of you already understand this stuff and you're just excited, just like I am. Like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm not going nowhere. I'm, I'm chilling, bro. I'm still I might even still be buying. I mean, you know, hey, do what you do. You know, what I'm saying because uh, it, it just there it is. There's a use case for it. Right. All right. Moving along. Binance deliberately caused FTX collapse, says Kevin O'Leary. Right. And. Wow. Right. So I was like, yeah, seriously, bro, bro, you'll say anything. Right. So let's get to this, man. Like, is, what would you even have to say that? Right. So a uh, Canadian entrepreneur and Shark Tank star. And, and this is for people that just listen to common TV and then they believe stuff because I just showed you that crypto ain't going nowhere. People are using this, but it's stuff like this to scare people out. And I guess if it scares them out, they're not supposed to be there. It is what it is. But um, it's just a funny one. So I'm going to go ahead. Canadian entrepreneur and Shark Tank star Kevin O'Leary today slammed crypto exchange Binance and claimed it caused the collapse of FTX on purpose. Speaking at the Senate Committee on Banking, Housing and Urban Affairs hearing, the celebrity businessman also said Binance is a massive unregulated monopoly now. Like, bruh, you're attacking them. Why? Like, what, what's what's the evidence you have for this? You know, what do you got? Well, Binance, the world's biggest cryptocurrency exchange, played an early part in the collapse of mega exchange FTX last month. Binance CEO Champagne uh, CZ Zhao announced that he would be selling the exchange's holdings of FTX's native token, a move that triggered a liquidity crisis days later. FTX filed for bankruptcy. Um, Elon Musk tells people all the time, uh, well, he doesn't tell you he's buying. He's like, I'll accept this and I'll accept that. Or he'll just make a meme or a joke or something, right? You know, uh, you've got... Uh, um, people that that 
will advertise to you like the Kim Kardashian quote unquote scandal, right? And uh, what was the other one with the boxer? Um, you know, and, and and oh, they they didn't say that they were being paid to advertise, right? So then they they quote unquote mislead, right? So listen, if this guy says he's going to be selling off um, his holdings of something, well hey man that doesn't that doesn't change anything if you decide well well why is he selling off and then you get scared and you you decide to do the same that's on you bro but that has no bearing really on why ftx failed why they became a a, a disaster you know and that's what a whole investigation is for but to literally just just point a finger based on somebody selling off like you know what i'm saying people sell off we, we watch whales move money around the crypto space people sell off um, um large amounts you know what i'm saying if you're smart and you see that obviously you know what i'm saying but that really has no bearing on why ftx failed and so i don't know if that was just some way to uh get people's eyes off of this scandal uh, i'm not sure but to me, it's like, come on, bro, bro. What are you doing? We we know that you were an uh, advertiser for FTX, bro. We know that they paid you. What was it? Uh, fifteen million or whatever. So it's like, come on, bro. I hear you, bro. But really, bro, come on, bro. What you doing, bro? What you doing, bro? Anyways, all right. MetaMask launches PayPal integration for Ethereum purchases. Isn't that interesting, right? Isn't that interesting? Truly, it is. 99% of people will lose crypto storing and self custody. Um, Binance CEO Xiang Peng Zhao. See, he says something there, right? Now, is, is everybody going to just take what this man says and just do crazy stuff, right? You know what I'm saying? Holding your own crypto in your wallet is not risk free, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Binance chief Xiang Peng Zhao has suggested users are more likely to lose crypto by holding it in a cold wallet than by putting it on a centralized exchange. Um, okay, so the man said that, right? For most people, uh, for 99% of people today, asking them to hold crypto on their own, they will end up losing it, he said in a Twitter space discussion held on. So he, he talks, okay? And let's just be honest. That made sense. A lot of people that have crypto, they don't know what to do with it. They don't, they, they, you know, this is why most people have bank accounts because the bank manages everything. And we know nine tenths of the law is possession, right? So once the bank's got it, it's theirs, right? We all understand that. But if people, most people don't, if most people don't get it, and even hearing that a thousand times, they still leave all their money in a bank, okay? An exchange is no different than a bank. You're you're entrusting them to protect that stuff. And that's why we have FDIC banks, which are protected, you know, what I'm saying up to so much money. Right. And even that it is what it is. But you're leaving something of yours in the custody of the next. Right. So most people choose to do that because they don't want to be responsible so he's telling you some factual information. It's like most people aren't responsible. They don't want to have to keep up with all this information. They don't want to have to do all that money moving and understanding how crypto works. They don't want to. Right. So, yeah. OK, well, most people are still going to end up leaving their money on exchanges and stuff will still happen. It just means that exchanges will have to work harder to protect money. They'll have to come up with more creative ways to protect money. And then you're only going to want to deal with uh, exchanges that have been out there for a long time that are trusted and reputable. You know what I'm saying? So, right. You've got exchanges all over the place. Do you just, you know what I'm saying? There's banks all over. Banks have been scamming people forever. Like, come on, man. Y'all y'all do understand that banks have been stealing your money. A lot of you people have had money sitting in banks and banks were just skimming money here and skimming money there because people work in banks, right? Uh, this is where DeFi comes in, right? DeFi doesn't have a person running it. It's just, it's 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 contracts that are just you know doing them doing their own thing you know what i'm saying so that's a whole nother story but that's what banks do there's people behind the bank you know what i'm saying and 
you know, with an exchange, there are people behind an exchange, right? And so when they want to do clever, deceptive, deceitful things, if they do it, that's what happens. It's no different, you know what I'm saying? So aye, 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 let's move along. Binance customer withdrawals exceed three billion in twenty four hours. <laughs> Right. And why would that happen? Right. Why, why? Why would that even happen? Like, why? FTX founder Sam Bankman Fried hit with eight criminal charges. Now, this is interesting. And I think this is the last story. I'm glad you all made it to the end of the video. I appreciate it. Uh, but this is an interesting. I really wanted to know what he was being charged for. So here it is. The Complex Frauds and Cybercrimes Unit at the Southern District of New York U.S. Attorney's Office charges Bankman Fried with conspiracy to commit wire fraud on customers, uh, wire fraud on customers, conspiracy to commit wire fraud on lenders, wire fraud on lenders, conspiracy to commit commodities fraud, conspiracy to commit securities fraud, conspiracy to commit money laundering and conspiracy to defraud the United States and violate the campaign finance laws. I mean, Kevin O'Leary, where do you come up with your madness? These are the charges this guy's being brought up on, but literally this is is Binance's fault. Like I'm I'm my, and if, if if you were to just listen to the, these people on TV and don't do any research, you would you would probably think these people are telling you the truth. That here's the charges that this guy is being brought up on right you can see all this stuff is happening from the end how you, bad actor is a bad actor banks do this stuff all the time people are behind the banks this is not automated artificial intelligence this is humans humans we are in the flesh and i'm not here to preach to anybody because that's that's not what this channel is about but i'm just here to help you understand the flesh is a weak thing okay it's a weak thing we have to fight to control it and build ourselves strong and it takes a long time and process to do this you know what i'm saying so most people are seeing opportunity to uh uh scam somebody because they see it like okay they might do it and and you have a good amount of people that will say no i don't i don't want to do that i don't i don't want to scam nobody I, I feel like no and it takes us growing up and going through things and going through things in our lives to see which way we want to go and so when people go that way they do things like this and when people go the other way they don't it's no different than than at a bank some people at the bank that might work in the bank might not be into stealing people's money and then some people in the bank that work in the bank might be into stealing people's money it, your money is in their bank you know what i'm saying it's just like when your money's on the exchange it's on their exchange and whatever they do with it is what they're doing with it so I know a lot of people aren't going to stand up and take care of their own money, so they're going to continue to do things like this. But just understand, these are some of the things this guy was able to do because these are the charges he was able to do on the exchange that, that he had with your money. All right, it goes on to say potential penalties for the charges against Bankman Fried, also known as SBF, range from upwards of 20 years incarceration and hefty fines. If he is found guilty of all the charges and the sentences run consecutively, he could be facing over 130 years in prison. I doubt he'll ever see that. Um, I'm sure some deals are going to be made, uh, some plea and everything else. Uh, you know, they really want to find out where that money is, which has not been disclosed yet, obviously. So, um, yeah, I mean, th there it is. There's the charges they got them on. Uh, and so mm, interesting, interesting. Don't be stupid. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't trust the bank and don't trust the exchange, you know, figure out or learn how to manage money yourself. Become proficient with it. You know what I'm saying? Stop expecting or trusting in people to do the right thing because we're all humans in flesh okay and and different things might cause you to err in your ways because of the flesh that you're in so yeah yeah again i'm not preaching that's all i got for y'all this was a long video this was a lot of information i haven't been here in a while you're probably like yeah i guess he would make a long video it's been days or even weeks since he made one I got it. I feel you. I understand. But I'm glad you made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to hit that like button because I brought all the information to you. I just want you to see it and share the video with people that you think could use this information. I'm glad you stopped by and I'll catch you all in the next episode.